is a drawing of the layout of the buildings. I've been asked quite a lot of questions in the comments about the layout and people are getting a little bit confused because there's quite a few buildings. So I thought I'd just film this again. I have filmed this once before. I think it was in episode 12. I was just standing down by the river, having a glass of wine, looking at what the rivers are up to, and I just noticed there's lots of buds on this uh, on this bush. Oh, I'm in the shadow here. On this bush that we're keeping, which I couldn't, I, I wasn't sure what it was called, and I'm not sure that it is definitely the one with the pom poms. I think it might just be some lovely smelling white flowers, but very soon we're going to find out. Everything's coming to life all of a sudden. Let's see if I can get a close up and maybe some of you can identify it from the buds. Oh. Yeah, so there's been a couple of suggestions that people have made. And I thought it was the pom pom one, but I'm not quite so sure now, but I think it might be the Somebody said mock orange, or a few people said mock orange. I think it might be that. I know, I remember it has a lovely smell. But we'll see when it comes out. Well, hello everyone. I'm sitting in the hall of the sheet. There's so much stuff going on around here. It's so noisy. It's really difficult to find anywhere a quiet spot. To film. So I'm hoping there won't be too much distractions in the way of noise. There's a little bit of road noise um, out the front there and obviously there's the working noise out the back there so I hope it doesn't distract too much. I'm also hoping it's light enough in here as well. It's very difficult for me at the moment to find somewhere that's bright enough to film in. So anyway, please make allowances for that. Um, it's the first time I've had a little chat like this with you for a while, but um, I need to talk a little bit about the vlogging. And also I've got a few questions and answers that have come up. So I'd like to discuss those. Now, now because there's been so much going on lately, um, and also because of Stephanie's vlog, Stephanie of the Chateau Diaries, I watched her vlog, and it actually made me realize how much time I'm spending on the vlogging. Now don't get me wrong, I love the vlogging, don't panic, I'm not going to stop the vlogging, but it is taking up quite a lot of my time when there's so much going on and you've seen a lot of the work that's going on and things are coming together out in the garden and there will be even more work going on and we'll be busier than ever. So I've sort of come to a conclusion with the vlogging that I'm going to carry on doing my regular Sunday morning one but I won't be doing one every single week on a Wednesday. So I'm going to cut back a little bit there. I'm going to see how it goes maybe for one every other Wednesday or possibly Thursday and see how that goes. Or maybe I'll just give you a little short update in the middle of the week. But it is taking up an awful lot of my time and it made me realise just how much time these things do take. It does take several hours of editing apart from the actual time filming, to create one of these vlogs. And depending on the content, sometimes it can take even longer than that to, up, to um, edit it. And there's the uploading time. I struggled last week because of the poor internet connection. And sometimes, yeah, it's getting late into the evening and I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it a chore. I really enjoy doing it. And I also love all the comments. I read every single comment and I reply to every single comment. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that for too much longer because I'm getting so many. So forgive me if you don't get an answer to every single one of your comments. I promise you I will still read them all. But I think I'm going to be, have to be a little bit more selective. I do get asked the same question um, quite a lot on on different vlogs depending on what the vlog's about but a lot of people will ask me the same question and I I seem to answer it a few times on each vlog. It takes a lot of time to answer it fully so I don't want to 
So I'm going to ease back a little bit because there's a lot of work coming up. We're going to be very, very busy and I don't want it to become a chore so that I don't no longer enjoy doing it. Um, I love every single comment, all the ideas that you give me, all the information that you give me when we find things is amazing. And that's part of the fun. Anyway, what I want to say to you is I'm going to cut back a little bit. You'll still be getting a, a vlog at least once a week. And I will still be answering some of your comments. I cannot promise to answer all of them because I've now got nearly 2,600 subscribers. And every vlog I'm getting hundreds of comments. And that is very time consuming to answer people properly. So I probably will read your comments and just put a little thank you to so, so that you know that I've seen it. Anyway, we'll see how that goes for a little while. Um, as work eases off a little bit and I might get a little bit more time, I might go back to doing the regular two vlogs a week. But for now, I'm going to promise you one and hopefully sometimes deliver two. So I hope that's all right with everybody. I mean, you've been so fantastically supportive. Well, 99.9% .9 of people have been very enthusiastic. Um, they've given me some really good feedback and I've learned along the way to how to improve the vlogs. But I'm never going to be some movie director. So I can't promise you that that's going to improve any further than it already is. I do try to film things. I do try to take into account all those comments and they are mostly very useful. So thank you all for that. Thank you all for all the lovely information that you share with me about plant names and what things were used for and come looking up companies that are listed on old bottles that we find. It's amazing. The information that's come through already just from old tooth that we found is incredible. So thank you all for that. Well, I'm going to stop waffling on now. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update. It is Wednesday already when I'm filming this. I really have not had the time this week. Again, this is another consideration. It is getting to the point now where I'm panicking because I'm thinking I've got to put a vlog out tonight. So I thought I'd have this little chat with you. I'll give you a little quick update on what's been happening work-wise. I did promise you to show you what was in the trunk, but I can't do that for the moment because I really just haven't had the time to film it and I don't want to rush through it. I want to go through it properly and film it properly for you. So that will probably be in some days and some more updates on the work that's been going on. Also the 1673 map that I was given. Now that's really exciting. I have been doing some work on that. I've been doing some research. I've been doing some filming around the town and trying just trying to work out what's what on the map and what is still there. A few things are still there. So I am working on it. You will get to see that. It might take me a couple more weeks and it might have to come in a couple of parts, but we will see how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to give you some clips now of what's been going on and then I'll come back with a short question and answer session. So also, um, if you've not subscribed, I've got 2,600 subscribers already, but a few more won't hurt. So if you've not subscribed already, I'd really appreciate that. And if you can just click the like button, it really, really helps. So it helps that my videos get seen. So thank you all. Well, we've waited five months for this. The electricity people are here to renew the cable at last. It's uh, replacing our electricity cable so that we can have, a, have more power. Ah, this looks important, doesn't it? We've even got a row of cones. Exciting things are happening. We're gonna get extra power. Oh, I'm so pleased to see this cable going in finally. I've waited a long time for this. So yeah, I'm so pleased to see this finally being done. It looks like a big lump of licorice. <laughs> While I'm standing out here looking at the electricity people, 
I just noticed there's two crows with sticks flying around our chimney up there, so it might be time to light a little fire to discourage them. Let's see if I can film one. They're gone now. So, the electric company are busy putting in the new cable, which is amazing. We still have to wait another 24 hours after this to get the power upgraded, which they will do automatically once they've been notified that the cable's been done. And then we still need to connect up some things for me to be able to use my new oven. I don't know if you can spot him, but Tony is up the cauldron there behind the end house where he's um, he's going to render that uh, end wall where it meets the barn while he's able to with the scaffold. We did try to get someone to come and do it but there's no one available. I think that's probably because it's the Easter holidays. So Tony's going to do it himself. And not sure how much rendering he's done. But we will see. There he is, hiding around the corner there. Well, we've decided to see if we can go and find a French chap that we know does rendering. So Tony's coming down and then we've got to go and see if we can remember which house he lives at. It's a bit interesting. You know he's going to want to kiss you. <laughs> First we go and try and find him. If we can't try, if we can't find him, then I'll do it myself. So it looks like the lads have finished putting my new electricity supply in. They've been here most of the morning. So they've finished just in time for lunch. We just had a knock on the door from the roof, huh? Because we asked him to get some timber for us. And he's just turned up with his timber truck. And then this is what's arrived in my courtyard. Which is actually really exciting. So can you guess what we're going to make with this? Tony's going to be busy for a little while. But yeah, these are huge great lumps of timber. These are what they actually use in the roof. But we thought it would be an ideal size for what we wanted. These are 75 by 225 by 4 metre lengths. I'm really excited. Whee! This is how it's sort of fallen as he's drove off in the tipper truck. But yeah, brilliant. Another project we can be getting on with. Amazing. And we're actually having some lovely weather again today. It got a little bit chilly for a couple of days actually got really chilly down to about minus five overnight and now we're up to about 18 degrees in the daytime again so yeah it's like a set of steps isn't it i can actually walk up here very carefully of course we have a little bird who's making a nest right in the corner there above the entrance door. It's one of those ones with the little flappy red tail, I don't know what they're called. He's been so busy, here he goes. Did you see him? He keeps coming back with bits of fluffy stuff. He's busy building a nest. <laughs> Might just leave him to it. It's amazing how fast they work. Obviously this big machine helps because it's taken up the trays of tiles. This is what they've done in one day. Mr. DeFour. And somebody else is around that corner rendering what they call the pignon, which is the end wall of the joining house. This is absolutely amazing. It's looking so smart already. Wow. Right, Tony's moved most of the wood. Here he comes with another one. 
He wouldn't let me help because it was too heavy for me. And he's chopping it all up to length. So we have a stack of pieces, shorter pieces, and we have a stack of longer pieces. <laughs> and Tony has his cutting list. Can you tell what it's going to be yet? <laughs> this is Tony's stop. So it's got a system here. <laughs> Seems to have built around his uh, saw bench over there. So Tony's busy constructing things, working out angles. So this is not a triangle then. This is this is a bed which is shorter at one end than it is at the other. Yeah. Yeah. So what shape do you call that then? It's a triangle. It's not a triangle though, is it? It's got four sides, so it will have. It's not, it's got one, two, three, and then it will have four sides. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I don't think it's got a name. <laughs> but yeah, it's only busy still sewing up bits of wood, working out angles. Very good at this. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can probably hear there's all sorts of tiling going. I'm going to show you what's happening on the roof this morning. It's amazing. Right, well, they've been back for one day and they've already tiled two thirds of that roof. Which I think is amazing. Well, let's say they've tiled over half of it. Which is actually amazing. There's still a lot of work to be done on the other side because it's all got to be stripped off yet. <laughs> this is brilliant. They've worked so hard today. And it looks beautiful. So some questions that we've been asked. Uh, we were asked not by more than one person about removing the ivy on the walls that um, border the river, because there's still a lot of ivy there alongside the side of the barn and the walls around the garden. And obviously the water is far too high for us to even attempt that at the moment. But we definitely will be. Um, sometimes in the summer the river almost dries up. So we could probably potter out there in some flip-flops and get to it. Or um, Tony's looking for some waders. It doesn't always dry up that much. But Tony is looking for a pair of waders. So as soon as he gets hold of those, then he will be going down there once it's safe to do so. And, and we'll be pulling the vines off of the wall. So that helps us keep the walls in good order and we'll be filling it at the same time if need be I'm repairing it a little bit next question so we've also been asked by quite a few of you 
if we can outline the exact use of all the buildings, what we intend to use them for, and the rooms in those buildings, well, the short answer to that is we can't do that because we don't know ourselves yet. We have some ideas on some of the buildings that we're working on, but at the moment we're still pretty much in um, damage limitation mode, if we could call it that. Obviously the roof on the barn, we're doing that so that the barn doesn't get any worse. Um, there will be further works needed inside the barn before we can use it for something, but that's so that it doesn't deteriorate anymore. And then we will be doing some more damage limitation works on the middle house, but that is then going to be left for quite some time. Um, we've done some damage limitation on the other houses, but there's still more to be done. And then ongoing works to create some extra bathrooms um, to make it more comfortable for us to live in, for friends and family to come and stay. And also so that we can move to the front house as opposed to where we are now in the Jeep, which is where I'm sitting, so that we can let the Jeep out. Now that's going to be a way off, I think, the circumstances at the moment. Who knows when we will be allowed to do that. There's a few little jobs that want doing in the Jeep, a little bit of tidying up once we move out. Um, and then we need to set up a website and start all that. So I don't think it's going to be until much later in the year at least before we're able to do that. But that's the plans at the moment. And we're pretty much, if you keep watching, then you'll see as we go along, um, decisions are still being made on the use for some of the buildings. We have plans, like my plans, hopefully, to use the large barn area in the middle house for my workshop. Tony wants to use the downstairs of the big barn for his workshop. But there will be electrical works needed doing new windows to go in and lots of other things before we can do that. So those are our general plans. Uh, at the moment, the big project is the outside, because if we can get the courtyard looking nice, the roof of the barn was an eyesore, so now that's done, that's tidied up that building, tidying up shutters and the front of the houses, um, tidying up the garden and the courtyard was a major concern, because if we want people to come and stay, the parts of the building that aren't finished can still be closed off. But as long as it looks nice from the outside, and it's this time of year when we should be doing the gardening, we've decided to concentrate on that for the moment. So stay with us and see how it develops. And if you've got any other ideas for things, ideas are always welcome. Because, of, because I mentioned that I would like the workroom, I've mentioned it a few times recently, um, people have said to me, what do I want to use it for? And I've actually been asked, am I an artist or a painter? Well, uh, I, no way am I an artist. I wouldn't call myself an artist or a painter. But I'd, I like to have a go. And I hadn't drawn or painted anything since I was at school until three years ago when I came and spent the summer here. And I oversaw some work being done and did some work myself while Tony commuted backwards and forwards to the UK. Um, I spent the whole summer here and I had a lot of time on my hands so it actually gave me time to start dabbling a little bit and with a little bit of practice uh, it improved and I, I was quite pleased with some of my little paintings and drawings and I also did a lot of crafting as well so I would say I've always been an artistic person a creative type person and I've always loved crafts and making things so that's pretty much what I want my workshop for. Anything that you can think of. Putting a sewing machine in there, storing fabrics and trims and things, mending things, reupholstering things. Um, a little bit of painting, perhaps, a little bit of drawing, knitting, uh, all types of crafting. So you'll see when I eventually get that, that's a long way off in the future. That is way, way, way down the list. So. I think it's going to be a good few years yet, until the house is finished, the accommodation is finished, then we can start setting up what we want. But yeah, it's going to be a little while down the line before we get to see what I'm actually doing. But I will start having a dabble once the major works have calmed down a little bit. It's all a bit hectic at the moment. Then once that's calmed down a little bit, obviously I'm going to be concentrating on the garden quite a lot for the time being. But then once I manage to get a little bit of spare time, then I will be having another dabble.
and uh, maybe I'll get you, <laughs> maybe I'll let you see a little bit of that, maybe I won't. But we've also get asked quite a lot, uh, what are we missing about living here now permanently? What are we missing? And I can honestly say that it's really these really strange times that we're having at the moment. It just brings it home to you and makes you appreciate so much your friends and family. And that is, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit choked up actually. That is the big thing now because we haven't seen our friends and family apart from Tony and Tracy who, who managed to get over here briefly. We haven't seen any of them apart from telephone calls and the odd video call. We haven't been able to see them. We haven't been able to travel back to the UK and they haven't been able to come and visit, which obviously was the plan. And then our children and grandchildren, we're missing out on precious time. But so is everybody else. We're all in the same boat and we've just got to get on with it. We just have to realise that we're very lucky to be where we are because for the previous lockdown, we were in temporary accommodation and we didn't have anything to be occupying us. So we are so lucky to be here with all the things going on and the company that we do have over here, although we are now in another lockdown at the moment. But it's not affecting us too much because people are still allowed to come and work. Um, we can travel up to 10 kilometers we can still go shopping and do our usual things, so that in itself is not affecting us too badly. We're actually, we, we like to count ourselves lucky there, I think. So anyway, so that's the main thing that we miss about, about living in France and not being in the UK. Uh, on a practical side, we miss being able to pop back and see everybody or for people to come visit. So we miss the practicality of not being able to go back to the UK and bring back silly things like tea bags, um, stuffing mix, gravy mix, pickles, our favourite sweeties from the UK. You know, silly things that you you miss. They're not they're not urgent. We can live without them. We can eat quite well out here without any of those things, but we just don't like to go and to have those. So we're missing the fact that we can pop over and bring some things backwards and forwards. Um, bacon, we're missing big time because they don't do that in France. They have very, very thin, it's, it's a type of a streaky bacon, but it's not the same as that, what we have in the UK. So we're missing that, although even if we could go to the UK, we're not allowed to bring that over now. So I think we have to learn to live without that or just eat it when we go to the UK. <laughs> anyway, so that's on a practical level. Oh, the other thing is that we used to be able to order some of these things on Amazon and get them delivered over here. So we on Amazon UK, they would sell some of the things that, that we miss a little bit. And then we could just get them delivered. But since Brexit, we can't do that because we then get import duties charged on the on the deliveries. And it, it, it would have been quite expensive in the first place. So we can't, we can no longer do that. So we are investigating other possibilities. We have managed to track down some tea bags in Germany. So we might be ordering some of those. I've also been asked several times if I can set up a Patreon account or a buy me a coffee or both, or so that people can contribute towards the project. Well, to be honest with you, I, d I never did this to raise any funds. I mean, we came over here understanding what we were up against, what we were going to spend. Circumstances have changed a little bit for us, mo mainly due to the um, lockdown and the restrictions. And circumstances have changed a little bit. We might have to, um, we might not have as big a budget as we were hoping to in the first instance. But we'll, we'll manage, we have plenty to live on. Um, so I never did it for that. I always made the vlog mainly to keep family and friends informed of what we were up to. And as a record for ourselves to look back on and think, wow, you know, we've done all this, we've come this far. And so that was the main reason I set it up. But some people are quite insistent that they'd like to contribute. Now, I have got adverts as most people do once they get to the stage where you can monetize. I do have adverts running and that uh, has helped me to buy a couple of microphones, um, a clamp, 
um, a gimbal thing. So, so that's helped me to pay for the costs that are involved in the vlogs. And I'm quite happy about that. So if you continue to watch the adverts, that really helps me. So I'd rather that you did that. But I am thinking that I might just do buy me a coffee. So I, th I might maybe set up a buy me coffee page for the people that are really insistent. So just let me know what you think about that. But it's a possibility. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'd like to know what you think about that. And in the meantime, you could also help, not necessarily by, by not not by any contributions, but you can just help me by subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, it would be lovely if you could subscribe and click the um, click the notification bell. Then you'll get to know when I have put videos up, new ones, and also it helps my numbers on YouTube so it helps my video get seen uh, which is always lovely so that would really help as well and it doesn't cost anything so if you haven't already subscribed I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe I know some of you watch this on the TV and you don't actually get to see the comments so you, you don't see the comments that I've been talking about the questions so also, it's not so easy to subscribe on the TV, so maybe if you get the chance on you on your telephone. If you normally watch on the TV, I'd still appreciate it if there's a way you can subscribe or just to go on your PC and subscribe on there for me. That would be great. Or you can get notifications to your phone, I think. I'm not very technology minded, as you can see. Now, I've put out two vlogs every single week since I started this in August. I've put out a vlog every Sunday and every Wednesday, uh, apart from a couple of hiccups. I had a week off for my birthday. I had a hiccup last week because of a really bad internet connection, which hasn't improved much, by the way. So if this one is late, um, I do apologise. But there's so much going on that I'm struggling with the midweek, as I just explained. So, I love to watch all my, all my other Chateau vlogs, which is why I started this in the first place. I was inspired, particularly by Chateau Diaries uh, and Chateau de la Lande. It's only 40 minutes on the road from us, so they even get the same weather that we do. And, I, and they kept me going through the first lockdown when we were stuck in the UK. They kept me going by seeing familiar places as they were travelling around and going to different brocants that I recognised and obviously I could see what was going on in France when I couldn't actually get there but she's also opened my eyes a little bit when she started explaining that she's a professional vlogger she's she doesn't have to do the housework she isn't running another business on the side although we have people that mostly do that for us but we still have to deal with banking and accountants and wages and things like that um, various other inquiries also at the same time I mean, we've, we've got housework to do washing to do if you watch Chateau Diaries you will know what I'm talking about if you don't watch Chateau Diaries Stephanie did a vlog this week about what the YouTube vloggers don't tell you about how the videos are put together the, t the amount of time it takes the amount of work the filming the editing the, uh, the uploading the answer in the comments and I mean she also does handwritten notes to her Patreons and she does extra videos she does more videos than I do but as I say she she can concentrate on doing she even has people to help her make the videos and edit the videos and she now has a secretary that she's employed she has a gardener so she has volunteers there to do cooking and cleaning and so she can concentrate fully. I wish I had the time, but then I'm don't, not so sure that I would want to do it fully. Anyway, it was a really interesting vlog and I recognised a lot of the problems. She especially has problems with, or she did up until recently, with uploading videos. She even had to drive out into the countryside in the middle of the night to find a good signal. Um, so I can sympathise there. Things should be improving in that respect because we're due to get fiber optics super fast very very soon in the town there's notices up everywhere and all the wires are going up so hopefully 
that won't be too much longer. So that will help. That will help me. So anyway, thank you all for, for your continued support. I'm not going anywhere fast. I'm just cutting it back a little bit. I'm sure you'll understand. Oh, I'm Tony and Adam are out here discussing where they're going to put things. <laughs> Have you guessed what Tony's building? He's building it for me. And no, it's not a new house. <laughs> it's quite a lot of it. Now there's another shaped piece here. This is the only one that's going to be that shape. The two pieces go together. This is a raised bed. The reason it's an odd shape is because the wall is not square with the barn building. So we're going to line the rest of them up square. And this is what Tony's making me, some very, very long veggie beds for my potager. And it's going to be much easier for me to garden it because they're going to be raised by about 400. That's going to make it much easier for me to do it. I'm getting ready to run here. So, 